What is going on YouTube? This is Adam. I am coach of the Maryland Blue Crabbies and we are back for week two of the United Battlers Association season four. Uh, this week we are taking on Enzo and his Crustle Esporte Club. Um, he's got a really scary team this season. He's bringing one of our biggest threats from last season back. Um, we, are bring, we are losing Leafy Boy and we are going to be playing him this week. Um, so that is something that I am a little unnerved by. I know how good uh, Venazar can be in the hands of a good coach. Uh, not to not to kind of bump myself up, but I feel like I used Mega Venazar pretty well last season. Um, and it's definitely a scary threat that we're going to have to keep an eye out on. Um, it's just one of those things that we're going to have to make sure that we don't leave ourselves open to a bulky threat that Mega Venazar seems to be. Um, Without too much blabbering, uh, without too much talk about what what life is, is doing right now, um, we'll go ahead and get into the match. Uh, I do want to apologize. I'm, for those of you that follow the channel relatively regularly, um, I'm going to be putting these matches up about a week behind uh, just because it's easier for my life right now. Um, it, it's just a lot going on. It's not anything that I can't manage. It's just usually when I get my day off, I have a lot of things to run around and do anyway. And unfortunately, sometimes that means that life kind of takes a back seat or that, you know, fun stuff in life takes a back seat. Um, the question of the day is um, what Pokemon, what type of Pokemon would you like to see added into the game? And this, this is kind of a twofold question. Um, is there an additional type like, a, you know, a new fairy, a new, uh, a new dragon type, something that you'd like to see? Or is there just like a style of Pokemon that you'd like to see for me? Personally, uh, Coward and I were talking about this the other day. Um, there is no raccoon Pokemon in in the game just yet, so that's kind of sad. Like I, I would like for there to be some kind of raccoon Pokemon. Also, if we could get a platypus type water starter, that would be really cool too. Because um, um, immediately my mind jumps to Perry the platypus. Uh, without too, <laughs> either way, like. I gotta catch myself or else I'm gonna go out on a tangent. That's not gonna be fun for anyone to watch. So we're gonna go ahead and start the match here. Um, I will pause and kind of go over what I'm what I'm bringing. Um, I've got Mega Absol, Victini, Suicune, Rotom, Gligar, and Florges. He brought the Tornadus, the Lycanroc, Garchomp, Granbull, Blastoise, and Mega Venusaur. Um, I didn't really prep too awful hard for the Blastoise just because I didn't think it had a great matchup, but I kind of have a feeling that I know what it's going to be. Um, Mega Blast, well, not Mega Blastoise. Blastoise is usually pretty chunky and is usually used at a, as either a status absorber or a status inflictor. Uh, it does have access to refresh, and because it is bulky, a lot of times people will use that as something that can kind of come in, soak up a hit, um, do what it needs to do or wants to do, and then get out of there. We are bringing a... Uh, I believe we have a choice specs Rotom. Like I said, it has been a week since we since we've had this match. Um, Eviolite, Gliger, leftovers, pressure, Suicune, um, Florges with some leftovers too. Mega Absol. Um, the real way to win this game is going to be weaken everything to a point where Suicune can come in and clean it up. A lot of his. A lot of his threats, if you look at his team, uh, Lycanroc is extremely good this week. Um, Garchomp is extremely good this week. I did bring a Choice Scarf Victini to outspeed or at least kind of get information on the Garchomp. If we see Stealth Rocks, we can kind of assume that it's not Scarfed, but I don't want to err on the side of caution. Uh, the thing that was scaring me the most this week was the Garchomp, just because if it went plus two and... Uh, or, and or was scarfed, then there wasn't really a solid answer on my team. But I did have, the reason that I brought both Gliger and Florges is um, it would have to lock itself into something if it was Choice Scarf um, that one or the other would resist. Either, you know, it's EQ or, or Outrage to kill Gliger, um, Outrage to kill Gliger, EQ or Poison Jab to kill Florges, and Gliger can, uh, can handle those both with ease. So without too much talking, I'm going to go ahead and start the match. We will take it kind of slow here. He does lead off with Torn. Um, there's really no reason for me to not throw off a U-turn here. I am Scarf. He doesn't know that yet. I'm hoping maybe he'll go for his Scarf. Maybe maybe he's Scarf. Maybe he goes U-turn. Um, and then he doesn't really know what exactly we are. 
So we go U-turn here, the Grand Bull does come out. Not too big of a deal. We go right on this Suicune. Suicune will be able to set up on this, I just want to kind of scout. So I'm going to go right for the sub, just because there's really no reason for me not to. Uh, I was either going to gain information or I was going to, you know, get a free sub up, and the free sub it is. So he's going to swap back out into the Torrent, I'm just going to go for Calm Mind here. Again, really no reason not to. I'm going to get a big hit off on something. Something is not going to appreciate this. Uh, so he does stay in. I want to protect, kind of scout to see what he's going for. He goes for the Air Slash. I don't think that'll break my sub, so... Yeah, yeah here might have been a misplay on my part. I probably should have gone another Calm Mind. Uh, but I just want damage off on this thing. So I'm just going to go stall. That's a good amount of damage. No burn. Didn't really need a burn. And we are almost back up to full at this point. So right here, again, probably could have gone for either Protect or um, or another Calm Mind, but I just throw up another sub. Because we are back to a relatively good amount of HP. Um, I know I can Calm Mind or Protect. Again, may have been a small misplay there. Probably should have just scouted, gone for the Protect, and then gone Calm Mind next. Or just thrown off the Scald. So we are going to throw off a Scald here. We are going to get the burn, which is super helpful. Uh, he's going to throw off a Play Rough, which is not going to do anything now that we have burned it. And we are just going to sub again, because, you know, I'm thinking at this point, what can he do to break my sub? And props to Enzo for this prep, because he does have the Super Fang. And that is going to... I never knew, I never knew that Super Fang, if you were sub, I, I guess it's looking at the target HP that you have left. That would make sense to me. But, um... No, I kind of think that, you know, Super Fang, if you have a sub, shouldn't it hit for half the sub? I don't know. I'm not a game designer. I don't claim to be. Um, I just play the game. So, he's going to be breaking our sub. There's only one thing that I can do in this moment, and that is go hard out into Rotom. And that is when we find out that this is indeed... Well, first we're going to protect. This is indeed an Assault Vested Gramble. We are slowly whittling that team down. Uh, we are not in a great range of health anymore, so we can want to be as close to full as possible just to help take on the Venusaur. Uh, we are going to throw off a Shadow Ball here, and he does live it. And because we are Twist Specs, this thing should have died. So I believe this is AD. Um, Enzo, if you're watching, uh, let me know. I think it was. And this still does an incredible amount. Um, I was tempted on this turn to click Bolt Switch, but, you know, Garchomp is sitting right there. I do have HP Ice on this Mon, and I didn't want to overextend, I didn't want to put myself in a bad position, I just want to play as solid as possible, and not set myself up for anything, um, anything that could be detrimental to the team. Now here, he does get me, you know, got him. Um, I am going to double out here into my Gligar, he's going to double back into Garchomp. Uh, not too much of, uh, of a downer there, just as far as momentum goes for me, that was probably wasn't the best. I am going to U-turn out. Um, I had Toxic on this mod, but I didn't want to click it just for fear of him setting up a sword stance. I know that we outspeed with the teeny, but I, it was just a risk that I didn't want to take. So I am going to go hard out into Quinculares. I want him to think, I want him to fear at least the fact that I'm going to go for Moonblast and I want him to go out into Venusaur. So he does go out of Venusaur. I do just click Moonblast to see if I maybe can get a special attack drop. Uh, this was a play that I wanted to make, but again, you know, I, I don't want to overextend. I don't, in this match, I feel like if I play a solid game that is without too many glaring errors, then I can, then I can clean up with Suicune at the very end. Um, so I don't want to overextend, I don't want to play too aggressive, um, just because I know that that could end up coming back to haunt me. We do get a burn here, which is really fortunate for us, because now he can't Toxic us if he has Toxic, and I have a feeling that he does have Toxic. Um, so later on in the match, this will be important. Uh, I am just going to go ahead and pass this wish off to Rotom, which is going to be huge, just, to, just so I can go off and uh, see. We do see the toxic here. Um, we are going to be able to throw off another couple of specs, shadow balls, if we want to, or I can do a bolt switch. I am just going to click shadow ball when I get the chance. I decide that he is not going to stay in here because the, the bolt, the, uh, the bolt switch threat is real. He is just going to go Mega Venusaur, and uh, I just kind of want to see what he's going to do here. I want to get rid of these rocks, just so Big Teeny can have a fun time. Uh, so, rocks go down. He's going to throw off seeds. Not, you know, it's not a great time, but it's also not the worst. 
Uh, we just want to make sure that this thing does not get too comfortable in here because it is a problem. So here I'm just going to U-turn out into Rotom. Uh, we are going to take a Leech Seed again to the base. Good prediction in so. Um, but we are just going to be able to throw off some, some Shadow Boss at this point. It's going to do a considerable amount. Uh, so I don't believe that this thing was Spadef. I believe it's more on the physically uh, physically defensive side. Uh, he does throw off a Giga Drain, and this is going to take Rotom out due to Toxic. I believe Blastoise gets this kill because it did die to Toxic. But um, yeah, so Rotom went down, which was not a good time for us. That was that was actually really unfortunate. Here, I just want damage off, um, but I also realize that he's most likely not going to stay in on me. Uh, Psychic does. To hit KO everything on this team except for Blastoise. And here, um, a couple weeks back, he ran. No, it was, it was last week actually. Uh, this is only week two. Uh, he ran Swords Dance, Lycan Rock, and I didn't want to give him the opportunity to set up if he wanted to. I want to make sure that even if Trust Me Daddy has to go down, that um, that we do prohibit him from getting boosted. If he's got a Focus Sash, we are going to take it. And we're going to at least break the Sash. So he does go for Stone Edge, he does not go, he does not get set up at all. Um, the only reason that I did that is I believe that even at plus two, Excel Rock is a roll to the, the, the bikini set that I had. Um, so it's not too big of a mis misplay there if I just prohibit him from setting up in my phase. Uh, we do go out into Yin. He will outspeed us if, um, I, I believe he was expecting me to Sucker Punch, so I wanted to, him to think that Sucker Punch was my play. Uh, forcing him to go Excel Rock. If he had gone Stone Edge, it was a roll to kill me. He does not go Stone Edge. He goes Excel Rock. And I just go for Knock Off. Uh, just because that is my safest play. And I want to make sure that nothing... No, nothing gets a chance to set up. Nothing get a, gets a chance to, to out outplay me as far as um, priority moves go. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So here Venusaur is, is coming out. Uh, the only way that I can at least force this thing down into a range that I can pick it out is to force him to attack me. Uh, he can't leech seed us. He can synthesis all he wants. He's only got eight of those. Uh, I do have the Zen Headbutt. So we're just going to keep clicking Zen Headbutt to where he has some damage on him when we think. Uh, we do get a flinch there. It's not the end of the world. It's not, it's not a game breaking play. Uh, he is going to be able to synthesis up. Uh, if he had attacked on that turn, it probably would have been better for us. Uh, the flinch may have actually come hurt us. Uh, we are going to get another flinch here. No, we're not. Just kidding. Um, he is back up to almost full, and he's just going to swap out into Blastoise. There's no other play for me to make other than Zen Headbutt, and right here, there was really no reason for me to do anything other than just go right back out into Twin Um, it's not something that's super scary, not something that, uh, that we have to worry about. Here, here is where I have to either win the game or choke it all away. I have to go right back into Eurus, make sure that he does not toxic. If he toxics me, um, that is not going to be a fun time for us at all because that is game. Or at least it makes the game more complicated because we have to go back out into Florges, um, Aromatherapy, and then we have to pass a wish just to make sure that we can, um, we can take care of the things that he has remaining on his team. Blastoise is going to be an issue. Um, Mega Venusaur, we do have to play around carefully, and Garchomp, uh, if we burn it, it's not going to be too big of a threat. If he does have the Swords Dance, it could be a problem, just because we don't have anything that really can, can take care of it. He does not get the burn, which is super fortunate for us. Um, we are just going to throw off a sub. If I had protected there, that would have been a choke. Um, so sub is here. Sub is now. Sub is going to make the crowd go well. Um, and right now we are going to start exerting the pressure that I brought this mon for. Um, for those of you that don't know, Suicune has an ability called Pressure. It forces the opponent to use two uh, two of their, their PP uh, instead of one. So for every move that he hits, he's using two of those moves instead of one. Uh, Giga Drain, I believe, has a max of 16, which means we only have to stall out eight. We are, at this point, we are a little um, on the, I wouldn't say the, bad into the stick here, but because I took so much damage with Bramble versus the Bramble, I have to play this very carefully. I will not have enough enough HP left to make a sub at the very end of this exchange, so I have to make sure that I play this in a way where it's not predictable. If he does have Sludge Bomb, hmm, excuse me, if he does have Sludge blah, 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 blah. If he does have Sludge Bomb and predicts the floor to swap, then, um, you know, it's, 
it's not going to be a fun time, but it's not going to be the end of the world. So here we just have to make sure that he is not going to be able to uh, to kill us at the end of this exchange, and then we'll be just fine. Uh, so uh, this coming up, I believe, is his second to last Vega Drain here, uh, and I am just going to go hard at Gorgeous in one point. Yep, Gorgeous is here. This is his very last Giga Drain, and we are going to be able to take it like a champ. Uh, again, really no reason for me to stay in and do anything goofy, so I am going to go Wish. Uh, we do see the seeds here, not a big deal. Uh, Twinkularis is burned, it's going to be racking up some damage, it's going to die to one hit anyway. We are going to try and pass this Wish back to Eurus. If he had gone double seed there, it would have been a great play, um, but instead he just swaps out, so we do get the Wish back. You're going to be close to full after leftovers, and then you're going to be good to go. So, Dragon Claw does do a considerable amount. We are just going to throw off a burn here. A, a burn. We are going to get a burn on this called. But, um, again, super huge for us. Uh, we're going to go Protect into Sub. Just make sure we have as much HP back as possible. And, again, we are stalling out those, those moves as far as many as we can, can throw off on. Uh, Dragon Claw will be able to outlast our protects though, so you can see it's not going to do much. It's doing 12%. We are going to throw off the sub, and then we're going to go ahead and all mind up. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and speed the matchup just a little bit, just because you, you don't necessarily need to see all the moves that are happening, because it is kind of self-explanatory. I'm going to try and get to a point where I can kill the, the Mega Venusaur and the Blastoise. Um, he's thrown off Dragon Claws. I'm going to protect, sub, call mind, just to... Uh, get back up to as much health as possible to take on the Mega Venusaur and the Blastoise. Um, so a sequence of Protect, Home Mind Sub, um, and the burn is going to be taking him down. And at this point in the chat, you know, he's like, oh, just go ahead and finish me. I'm like, yeah, this game is not over yet. This game, this game is still very much alive. If he can throw off a Toxic with Blastoise, if he can kind of catch me on a misplay, um, then it's far from over. So I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving... I'm not giving it up yet, just yet, you know. Um, you never, you never want to think that your opponent is out of the match until the match is at least over. Um, that's when you can kind of go ahead and, and say, okay, good game. Um, but other than that, no, I'm, I'm never going to count the opponent out until the game is, is at least done. Uh, I've had way too many games to go swing back into my opponent's favor at the very last second. So, no, it's not happening until the fat lady is done singing. Um, so we do the call mine here, and this is exactly why, this is exactly why that I did not finish him when I could have, because he's got the haze, and now this is going to make dealing with the Mega Venusaur an absolute pain in the butt. He is going to throw off Squad. I think that's the only attacking move he's got on this set, at least that's the only one he shows during the match. Um, so here I just want to kind of get a burn as soon as possible and make sure that this leftovers recovery is not going to be as helpful as he thought it would be. Um, so Mega Venusaur comes out, we just throw off the Protect. A um, little bit of a choke on my part, probably should have gone for sub, but it wasn't too big of a deal, it's not going to hurt me too much. So he does throw off the seeds here, um, and there was no, re no reason for me to not go sub. So home Mine goes off, EQ comes out. If I can land a burn on this mod, it's not going to be doing much, but EQ is going to take two shots to, to take care of myself. I am assuming that the EQ was there for Victini, which was a good prep. But I kind of had an idea that he'd be running that anyway. So I wasn't going to necessarily play super aggressive against the Mega Venusaur just because I, I do know the, the capabilities that it has on all things. It's not going to necessarily one-shot a lot of things, but the thing about Mega Venusaur is that it does take multiple hits to take down, um, which can be a pain in the butt. So here, uh, we are just banking on getting some subs up, uh, going call mine a couple of times, and we are going to we're gonna speed this up. At this point, he's saying GG. Um, he asked me if pressure stalling was in my plans for the week. Uh, absolutely, absolutely, they were. Um, I know that makes me sound a little bit like a jerk, um, but it is, in my mind at least, it's a it's a legitimate, a very legitimate way to play. Um, especially if you're gonna use the mod's regular ability in a way that you know, kind of counters your opponent's best counter to you. Um, if you had told me that. Or if you had told someone, you know, that, that Suicune would be 1v1 in a uh, Mega Venus, they probably would not believe you. Uh, at this point, he is, at least he said in the chat, he was like, okay, uh, GG. And I was like, well, okay, why, why are you saying GG if you're going to haze me? Like, you're just prolonging this. Um, 
but no, it was all it was all good. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, he was a really cool dude in the chat, and I really do appreciate him. Uh, we were able to get this match off on Thursday. I don't think that Thursday worked really well for him, but he was able to be flexible with me, and we did kind of get it going. And around the time we wanted to, uh, it was my only day off that week, and I was working um, 10 to 12 hour days, so any other day it probably would not have been such a clear and concise match for me. Um, probably wouldn't have had all of my, my senses in the right area. Uh, <laughs> He did, he did type in the chat, he was like, okay, let's just end this. Um, so I'm going to go, I, I, the only reason I'm calm minding here is because I know that I have to be at a fairly decent range to take this thing out, because at this point my scalds are running out and I don't want to lose because I run out of scalds, so I'm just going to boost up as much as possible. Suicune is all the way back up to full. Um, he's throwing off seeds just because he wants the match to be over with. Um, we do throw off another scald. We do get the burn there, it's not going to matter too much because we are going to be able to take him out on the next turn. And that's going to be game for the Maryland Blue Crabbies. We are, it is important to know um, that we have only played undefeated teams so far this season. When we played Raven, he did not have a loss. And when we played Enzo, he did not have a loss. So we are going to bump up to plus seven. The differential will be 2-0. Uh, plus S Forte will be 1-1. One and, one, and they will be, I think they'll be a zero uh, differential. Which, you know, not, not bad. It's really not bad considering the game. The, the last week. Uh, his match versus James Excel Rock was really, really good, so I did kind of see him bringing that again. Um, there wasn't too awful much that I would have played differently around, about this match. Uh, Victini was good for getting damage, Rotom was good for getting damage, and they just kind of let the, the walls fall so that Suikin could go in and kind of clean up. Mega Absol came in clutch just with a flinch. Uh, again, I do think it actually kind of helped him just a little bit because I could have gone out into Suikin. Um, but we do get an extra an extra point on our differential because Mega Absol did not get hit by that Mega Venus arm. Um, so no complaints here at least. Uh, my name is Adam. I'm coach of the Maryland Blue Crabbies. Next week we are taking on David and the Pittsburgh Cellar Steelers. Um, <laughs> for those of you that have followed the, the, uh, the league so far, um, you know that we kind of have a love-hate relationship with David. He is one of those guys that is a really good prep guy. Um, he preps really well for teams, and uh, he did knock us out of the playoffs last season. So this is definitely a grudge match for us. Um, he's a great guy, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take care of things. Um, so question of the day, uh, as previously previously mentioned, drop a comment in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed this match. Um, Enzo, really appreciated your flexibility, man. Um, I know that it probably wasn't the best of timing for you, but I really appreciate it where we could get this match worked out. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all next week.